Good morning, everybody. Uh, I am Dr. Devashish Chakravarti. I am the director of neurology at Fortis uh, Hospitals, Kolkata. Today, I will uh, tell you a few important uh, issues regarding a very common medical problem, a very common neurological office practice problem, and that is migraine. Migraine uh, is a type of uh, primary headache disorders, and it is very common in both males and females of any age group. It is uh, separately dealt with in a pediatric age group and in an elderly age group as well. As such, it is more common in females. But uh, the disease being very common, we are unaware of, a, of the few complications which can uh, be caused because of a chronic migraine condition, which is these persistent headaches for more than 15 days a month. And it has been seen that in the elderly population, this can be one of the predisposing factors for strokes. As long as an active uh, reproductive life is there in a female, migraine is usually a persistent problem. But its frequency uh, depends on uh, frequency actually decides whether the patient needs any any regular medication or not. So if there is a if there is an attack which is more than 36 hours or very disabling, or maybe uh, more than two attacks a month. Uh, then definitely it calls for uh, prophylaxis. Prophylaxis means giving medications regularly to prevent such attacks. So this is one form of the treatment and another form is to, to control an acute attack, normal pain pills, or sometimes a special group of medicines known as triptans. Now coming to migraine as such, the disease is uh, the, the, pheno the phenomenology is like, you know, the patient usually complains of a one-sided headache which can uh, uh, which can spread to the other half of the of the head or the scalp, and it can cause irritation of the scalp, which we know as scalp dysesthesias. And this uh, pain can can come down uh, in the neck. It can come down even up to the arms or even up to the upper part of the chest. It is usually associated with uh, a dislike for uh, light and sound, which we know call as phonophotophobia. And it is usually also associated with vomitings or maybe a nauseating feeling. Uh, the best uh, treatment uh, for an acute migraine should uh, uh, should start right at the onset of the headache. Otherwise, as as the headache goes on, the more uh, difficult it will be for the medications to act. Another important issue which I'll, I'll discuss in this very short span of time, which is of importance, is that many a times it has been seen that a patient is refractory to treatment or migraine, wherein actually another diagnosis is usually missed because most of these migraine patients, they use analgesics or painkillers very randomly. And it so happens that this gives rise to a condition which is known as medication overuse headache. That means more than three months of a particular medication or a treatment. And the patient usually finds that after taking the medicine, the headache instead of decreasing is actually increasing. So this element must be understood by the physician who is treating the patient because just going on treating the migraine is not going to sort it out. But now on, the modalities have changed because some of the patients, they refuse to take multiple uh, capsules or multiple tablets. So they go to a therapy which is known as Botox, a botulinum toxin injection in different areas of the scalp and the face and the forehead, which usually can be repeated in, on a quarterly basis and the patient is symptom free for most of the time of the year. Right now, another treatment modality which is very highly costly at present, but hopefully within a span of one year or so it will come down as and when the patency of the company now right now goes off and many other companies comes in and that is treating the headaches with only a single injection per month, which is a simple subcutaneous injection given like insulin injection. And this happens, this, this acts like a magic and the patient is uh, symptom free for months together, years. Only thing is that the treatment right now is very costly. Hopefully it will come down there a year or so. So I'm not going into the traditional details of my brain, which includes that what is the type of headache, etc. What is the treatment? So a few points which I have highlighted is that migraine should not be taken very casually because it can in the elderly lead to stroke. The second point is that it being more common in females, one should remember that during active reproductive life, it will be persistent. There is no need to worry, but we're taking a little medications if necessary. Number three, as I said, is the recent advances in the treatment of migraine, and that is with the botulinum toxin or the injection which I was talking about, which is a monoclonal antibody. And 
The most important thing is that migraine is very commonly associated with medication overuse headache. So this point should be kept in mind when the physician is uh, examining the patient or treating the patient. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you.